Sally Clark, Sean Hodgson and Ian Lawless. All were victims of a miscarriage of justice and all had their convictions quashed by the appeal courts following referral by the Criminal Cases Review Commission. If someone believes that serious mistakes were made at their trial or that they've been wrongly convicted of a crime they didn't commit, they can ask the Commission to investigate. But there are strict criteria for applicants. They must be convicted of a criminal offence in England, Wales or Northern Ireland. They will usually have tried to appeal against conviction but failed. And there must be new evidence or other new grounds that throw doubt on the safety of their conviction or sentence. That is critical. What's really helpful is when an applicant can explain what they think went wrong at the trial, why they feel that the conviction is unsafe and if they've got any new material. To help us find that, we can get the original exhibits from the trial, we can get files from any public body, including the police, the Crown Prosecution Service, or the Forensic Science Service. We can interview witnesses, either the same witnesses that gave evidence at trial, or if new witnesses who have come forward, we can interview those as well. Serving prisoners or someone who's completed a sentence can apply for a review of their case, as can people who were convicted but never jailed. Solicitors, relatives, even friends can also make an application. Case reviewers then investigate before the Commission decides if their findings mean there's a real possibility an appeal court would overturn a conviction or change a sentence. David Jessel, who as a journalist exposed miscarriages of justice, is one of the Commissioners. We're the safety net of justice. If 99% of people in prison ought to be there, that leaves hundreds of people in prison who shouldn't be there, and they've lost everything. Who else can they turn to? As I always say, what we do is we, we give people their lives back. The Commission doesn't work for the prosecution or defence, the police or individual applicants. It is totally independent. But if the Commission does refer a case to the appeal courts, that case has to be heard. An independent barrister and part-time judge, Christopher Hotton believes the Commission yeah, I mean, is a vital there. legal avenue in cases where all else has failed. Generally speaking, uh, the criminal justice system works extremely well and ensures that only people who are guilty of a criminal offence are convicted. But as we all know, in rare cases things go wrong and that's where the criminal cases review commission comes in. The commission's chair wants people to know his organisation has the power, authority and will to make sure miscarriages of justice are exposed. Our door is always open. Uh, if you want to approach us it, because you yourself feel that you've been a victim of a miscarriage, if you're a member of prison staff then you need, in broad terms, to know, you know what we're about and how we work. Uh, and you, you need to be aware that uh, prisoners have an entitlement to contact us if they need to do so. It can take many months to review a case and not all will be sent to the appeal courts. But of those that are referred by the Commission, convictions are quashed or sentences varied in 70% of cases.